Sean Ballamore, Scott Arthworth and Adam Everest in defence. Scholing visited the home of the Hampshire FA for their pre-season match against Basingstoke Town on Tuesday night. Scholing looked bright from the first whistle, but this chance was always high and wide of the goal. Basingstoke looked to stamp their authority on this match, but this effort fell wide of the goal. The home side were creating chances when this effort from outside the box was well saved through traffic. Scholing failed to clear the ball inside their own box and were lucky to see this effort balloon over. Again, it was Basingstoke looking to grab the opener, but Luke Deacon was equal to this effort. This corner was only clear to a Basingstoke Town player who tested Deacon who saved well to prevent a goal. Some good build-up play from Basingstoke Town resulted in Connor Lynch stroking the ball into the back of the net. Basingstoke Town 1, Scholing 0. They say you're most likely to concede a goal just after you scored. And that was right when Scholing's Dan Mason put the ball into an empty net to make the score one all. Scholing looked to capitalise, but this speculative effort from Stu Green was always drifting wide. A strong challenge from Charlie Wagstaff resulted in an effort from Dan Mason, whose shot was saved. Basingstoke's efforts to dampen Scholing's spirits fell on deaf ears as this free kick from Stu Green found Dan Miller who headed Scholing into a 2-1 lead. This long ball from captain Byron Mason almost set Stu Green on his way to a third for Scholing but his was far too heavy. Scholing started the second half with Connor Whiteley looking to create something before being fouled on the edge of the box. And it was his effort, narrowly wide, that almost opened the door for Scholing. Brad Wilson's neat ball for Basingstoke fed George Reed, who made no mistake in equalising for the home side. Two all. Brad Target had this explosive run into the area before seeing his shot miss the uprights. But it was the home side looking to capitalise when this effort forced Luke Deacon into a save before scooping up the seconds. Brad Target showed why defenders are terrified of him when he nutmegged one before being fouled at the edge of the box. But the ball into the area wasn't one to write home about and straight into the keeper's grasp. Brad Wilson's intricate pass behind the Scholing backline 
gifted George Reid his second of the night with this brilliant finish into the side netting. Basingstoke almost topped the evening off with this free kick, but McCoy Parker's effort cannoned back off the post. Full time, and it's Basingstoke Town 3, Scholing FC 2. Scholing's next match is a home one on Friday, the first in 280 days against US Portsmouth. Kickoff is at 7.15.